channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I had quite a morning, as you saw. I went to Target, went to Trader Joe's. Actually, I went to two Targets. I will show you what I got at Target in a little bit. First, I wanna do my skincare routine because I really have been trying to do that first thing in the morning after I take the dogs for a walk. But then I got a random urge to just go to Target and find this thing that I saw on TikTok, which I will show you. <laughs> yes, I did go to two Targets. Yes, it was worth it. Also went to Trader Joe's to get stuff to make my vegan chili. Yeah, let me just do my skincare first and get myself a little bit ready. Yes, if you want an updated skincare routine, leave a comment below, I'm happy to do that. Or a makeup routine, I haven't done that in a long time and I'm not even sure if it's something that you would even wanna know about, but feel free to let me know and I'm happy to do that. Please ignore that. Yes, I still have the mattress in my living room. <laughs> I need help taking it down so that they can haul it away, but I haven't had any help to do that. So hopefully that'll be soon. Anyway, I wanna show you what I got at Target. It's the Amazon truck. I got the cutest pink holiday wrapping paper. Did not go in for wrapping paper, but isn't that how Target goes? I also got a frame. I don't know if you saw this, but when I went to Aloe's summer house, I had my astrology chart done and she hand painted it. I've been wanting to frame it. It's so beautiful. Literally been sitting on my dresser for like five or six months, which is insane. So I finally got a frame for that. Also got some cute holiday gift bags. So cute little wine bag still deciding if i want to set up my tree or not i feel like i just should new bath scrubby also got some wipes for the dog's paws because la is so freaking dirty and i really need to start wiping their paws before i bring them back in after a walk because it's just filthy i also got a new pillow for my bed because on black friday i did order new sheets for my king size bed which i am obsessed with i will link the mattress that i got below it's so unbelievably comfortable. Wow, I'm gonna kind of redo my bedroom. And then the cutest doggy Sherpas ever. I got a couple different sizes just cause I didn't know what size would fit the girls best. And that is what I went to multiple targets for. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy a few, try them and then I'll take back whichever one doesn't fit. But that's not even the cutest part. The cutest part about the doggy Sherpa is that they have matching ones for the owner. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put them on them and show you, but how stinking cute is that? We love that. And then, cause I thought for like photos or something could be cute. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the Sherpa on me. So I got two beanies that are the same color. Cause I thought that could be kind of cute to wear with the girls wearing their Sherpas. And then I also got them these really cute little puffer vests. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, we're gonna try them on. I hope that they fit them. They're so cute. I am obsessed. Okay, before I do that, I kind of want to put my astrology thing in my frame. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll try the cute little Sherpas on the doggies. I think because they were dried out in the sun, the paper got a little bit warped and I tried to tape it down so that it would be completely flat, but it is not working. So for now, I'm gonna leave it like this, but I'm still really, really happy with it. Yay. Look how cute you look. Have I taken this too far? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. We're matching, Penny. These are really cute too. They're nice and fuzzy inside, and then there's like a little pocket. I don't know what I would put in there for them. I know, you're like, you live in California, why do you need these for the dogs? But it does get kind of cold here. Not like I'm sure it does in New York, but a little bit. It was pretty cold this morning. I saw other dogs on their walk with jackets on, and so I was like, you know what? <laughs> the girls need jackets. Plus, if I do end up moving to New York, the girls will obviously come with me and they're gonna need some outerwear there. So it was a good purchase. I'm feeling good about it. Let's make some vegan chili.
The last thing I like to put in my chili before I let it stew on low is a beer. It's something that my mom used to do growing up when she would make her chili, and it's something that I do. I swear it makes it taste better. The alcohol cooks out of it. It just gives it a really good flavor. If you don't want to add it, you absolutely can skip it, and it's still really good. And you can do any light beer. It doesn't have to be Corona. This just happened to be what they had at Trader Joe's, so. good stir and then cover it and let it cook on low for the rest of the day. home from my workout. I think I mentioned this a couple of vlogs ago, but the outdoor workout thing that I was going to close down, which I'm honestly kind of sad about because I liked all the space that we had outdoors, but I'm getting used to it and trying to get back into a routine with that. In addition to new sheets on Black Friday, the other thing that I did finally get is I got a new TV. It's nothing like insanely special, but it is nice to have a TV again. And the one thing that I do find fascinating is how thin it is. It's pretty crazy. I really don't watch TV that much, but I do like to watch a show while I eat dinner. Otherwise, eating dinner alone is just incredibly depressing. Honestly, I really didn't mind using my laptop, but I got into a really bad habit of bringing my laptop into my room with me and then watching TV until really, really late. That started partly because my neighbor was like really loud every night. And so eating dinner in my living room just like was not relaxing. So I would end up eating dinner and hanging out in my room from like 5 p.m. until I went to bed. Getting the TV, I'm back to bringing my wind down routine into the living room unless he's being loud and then I'll have to go in my room because I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? The other thing that is a part of my wind down routine lately is I put up the little twinkle lights that we got in October. I put them back up and it's just like such a cute little cozy vibe. Speaking of cozy, hello. Going to turn this on low. Take a shower, do a hair mask. By the way, I'm loving this hair mask. I usually don't leave it in overnight, but I am gonna leave it in overnight because I wanna show you how I have been curling my hair without heat. And it's not as good if I do it overnight. It's better if I do it like during the day when I can take it out after a couple of hours.
Good morning. It is time for the no heat curling tutorial. I rinsed out the hair mask earlier this morning. I've let my hair mostly air dry, so it's just like barely damp. And I've noticed from experimenting that that is the best way to do it. I got this on Amazon. I will link it below for you. So you're just gonna clip this to the center of your head. It comes with a little clip, bear with me. And then I split it in half down the back and I put my hair into two sections. Okay, sorry in advance, but I, I have to look at myself in the screen so I cannot look at you and do this. So that's why I'm looking over here. I'm gonna start by taking this front piece and wrapping it back and around as tightly as possible. And then I'm gonna hold right here and take another little piece from under here and wrap it with it as tightly as possible. Just make sure you don't have little scragglers. And then I continue to take pieces starting from here, wrapping until you get all the hair. Once you get the last section of hair in, then you're gonna continue to wrap it as tightly as you can all the way down to the ends. And then it comes with little scrunchies and you're just gonna put the scrunchie on the bottom. And I like to just spread the scrunchie out a little bit so that my ends are completely tucked in. Voila! Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. And that is it. You leave it in for a couple of hours at least and wait till you see what my hair is gonna look like. It's amazing, I'm obsessed. But for right now, I'm gonna get some work done while I let this sit. out and voila the perfect waves i cannot with this mattress back here <laughs> it's driving me nuts trust just try to ignore it please i know it's an eyesore so this is the final hair it's just like so easy and it's just so much better for your hair. It's definitely a longer process than just curling your hair, you know? So obviously if you're in a time crunch, I feel like using a curling iron would still be the best option. But if you have the time to sit with it in and let your hair sort of air dry, I just am obsessed with this. I did try it overnight and it wasn't bad. It just wasn't as good as when I was able to like control my movements, if that makes sense. I feel like I might've rolled around during the night and things got like a little bit messy, but I was able to go in with a curling iron and just touch it up in a few places and it still looked really good. And it still was a lot less heat than curling my whole head. So I'm a fan either way. Guess what we're going to do now? Just got Botox and I can hardly move my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to hand knit a chunky blanket. Yay! I know this tutorial has been a long time a coming. I think I originally shared it with you in like early October. I have meant to do this every single week, but I just haven't had the time or I didn't find the right yarn. And so anyway, we're doing it now, yay! By the way, I'm gonna show you how to make the blanket now, but I'm also going to upload a separate blanket knitting tutorial just in case you wanna come back to this and you don't feel like sitting through a whole vlog. If you get your yarn and you're like ready to knit, that will also be up on my channel. I'm not totally sure when. I possibly might upload it as an extra video this week or it will be up next Sunday, but that is also coming. Let's get into it. I got the yarn at Joann's. I had to order it online because they did not have it in store. The size of your blanket is totally up to you. I made a really big one the first time, which I think was about 22 or 25 loops long, which will make sense in a moment. I think that that was like a queen sized blanket, just to give you an idea of how many loops. There's 72 yards of yarn in this jumbo one. And so I used two of these for my queen size one. This is just under one of these little packages. So I'm gonna do a smaller blanket. To start, you're gonna make the first loop. So you're gonna take the end of the yarn in your hand and use your hand to make a loop around your hand and make the first knot. Then you're gonna take the end of the yarn that's connected to the ball of yarn and you're going to loop it through this loop. And you're gonna continue that all the way down until you reach your desired size.
Once your blanket is the desired size, I'm making this for my friend's baby, so I did 15 loops. You're gonna make another loop into the last loop, and we're working our way down this way. So I moved the yarn to the other side. You're gonna loop the yarn into the loops you already made to make a new row. Once you reach the end, again, move your yarn to the other side and repeat the process, looping it through the last row of loops. Um, just realized my camera's gonna die. So we're gonna have to finish this tomorrow. Sorry. Good morning. I worked on the blanket a little bit last night. I'm to the last row and I'm gonna show you how to finish it off, make the corner and tie it off. To create the edge of the blanket and finish off the final edge, you're going to make a loop through the first loop here. And you wanna make it a little bit longer. And then you're gonna make another loop through the second loop. So you should have two loops. And then you take the second loop back through the first loop and pull down and it'll create the little edge of the blanket. And again, you make a loop through this loop and loop it through that loop. And you'll continue it all the way down till you reach the end. Once you get to the end, trim your yarn, but leave yourself a little bit of room so that you can tie it off. And you're literally just gonna take the tail end of this yarn and tie a knot. And then just braid the tail of this back through the edge. And then you can do the same thing with the other side where you started. So there you have it, my little baby blanket. The biggest difference between the bigger one that I made and the smaller one is the size of the loops. And if you want a tighter knit blanket, just make the loops a little bit smaller. If you want a more loose knit blanket, make the loops bigger. As I mentioned, I am going to upload a separate tutorial so that you can save that video and just watch it when you're ready to knit. This is a really fun project for one, and I think it's a really great gift idea. And I've also found it to be really meditative because you're busy with your hands, you're focusing, there's like a sense of stillness and presence required. And so I found that it is actually quite therapeutic and fun. I'm gonna go and shoot the separate blanket tutorial now. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment or share it with a friend who you think might enjoy my content. And if you're not already, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every single Sunday. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night and an incredible week ahead. And I will see you at our weekly date next Sunday. Love you, bye. Thank you.